Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Today, we're learning how to dig tunnels through sandstone. Sandstone is a type of rock made of compressed silica sand that formed millions of years ago. It can be carved or excavated relatively easily with simple tools, but tunnels dug into it will stay stable and solid for centuries. In the Midwestern U.S., there are several sandstone mines where industrial sand was produced. There are also many other artificial tunnels and caverns dug out for cold storage in the days before refrigeration. These tunnels stay at a natural temperature of about 55 Fahrenheit all year. Sandland is a place that takes advantage of this geology by creating a network of underground tunnels and chambers entirely for recreation. While Sandland could be called a mine, we aren't producing any valuable minerals. The product produced at Sandland is the empty space inside the tunnels. The process of creating these tunnels is almost identical to that of a traditional underground mine. First, the sandstone is carved out with power tools. We have tried various devices, such as pneumatic jackhammers and electric drills. We found that an electric hammer drill is the most efficient. The sandstone is so easy to carve that there's no need for any explosives or heavy machinery. Once the sand is carved out, it's loaded into buckets and wagons at the digging face and moved to the haulage tunnel. This haulage tunnel is an angled passage up to the surface. Sand is dumped into very small homemade mine carts through these chutes in the loading station. Yeah. Yeah. Once the train is loaded, it's hauled up the inclined tunnel on wooden rails, using a powered winch at the surface. That siren you hear is to warn people to stay out of the hull tunnel during this process to avoid any accidents. Once at the surface, the loaded trains are hooked up to an overhead cable to be taken across the small valley. Each car is dumped onto the storage pile near the tunnels. When the pile fills up, it's taken away by a local construction company to be used for landscaping. You'll notice that we use a variety of safety equipment when digging, such as dust masks and safety glasses. We have years of experience with tunneling and are happy to have never had a serious injury from digging. We don't recommend trying this at home, and we certainly don't recommend digging any tunnels in dirt, loose sand, or any unstable materials. If you do want to participate in digging sandstone tunnels, and if you live near western Wisconsin, you should drop us a line. We're always interested in more help to expand the tunnels and do other related projects. I'll put a link to the Facebook page and the Sandland website in the description of this video if you'd like to get in touch with us. There are a lot of other things going on at Sandland as well. I'll put a link in the corner to my tour of the property, including the monorail, the treehouse, and other areas. I hope you've enjoyed this brief tour of our sandstone tunneling project. It can be hard work, but it's a lot of fun, and the underground maze and rooms we've carved out are a neat place to visit and explore. We hope these tunnels will be entertaining and inspiring future underground explorers for years to come. Thanks for watching!